Let, let's let's uh, jump back to the strategy. All right. Now what I'll do? Okay, I'll take you to. Uh, I'll take you to the trades. I think I've already yeah zero loss. So for your uh, quick reference, I've just already deployed this trade. So this is this I'll I'll show you. This is not not all a rocket science. This is your pure ratio spread, friend. I think people might be wondering how can this be zero loss strategy, right? People might be wondering how can this be zero loss strategy, and I've made it. And I've learned this from not learned actually even even if stay with me for another ten fifteen minutes, you will you will get up with all those questions, and you have to address those questions on your own. I'll give you I'll I'll show you one template now. you have to do some back testing simulations i'll give you all those data points and everything so you should be able to justify or you should be able to answer on your own okay this is your typical ratio spread so i'm i've deployed i've deployed one second your this is your buy 30 see now market stands at 36800 so i've deployed i bought 36900 ce right for 256 premium so what is the debit spread uh we we take half of the premium so what is the half of the premium 125 i've sold see 256 half would be like 125 so i sold 37300 and what is the half of 125 somewhere around like 6 i mean uh, 60 or 70 right i've sold the 67 rupees that's it this is your ratio spread 1 by 2 sold positions that's it right i am i am just assuming that all my viewers know what is ratio spread now how with how this will become zero loss strategy is the biggest question right so looking at the market so what do you feel market see uh, if i ask you like what is the market structure for uh, 70% of the time if you look at the market structure right market will be like going like zigzag moment right slowly it will go up right 70% even if you look like 20 years 30 years so this is a kind of the market structure you see so all of a sudden we had a covid and then slowly market is going zigzag up moment right this is this is very important for you guys to understand what i meant to say is like it will go up it will retrace it will go up it will retrace it is making a sort of higher high and higher low okay now so can i say 75% of the time right market will be on the upside 75% of the yes no doubt there will be some moment like it will go up it will fall down it will go up it will fall down but 75% of the time i will give i mean you have to do that exercise go back to your uh, trading view and you check yourself how does the market play so now 75% of the time market goes up right and have you ever seen maybe i'll ask that question to you out of 100 times how many times you might have seen gap downs how many times you might have seen gap ups right is at simple 90% of the time this will be like gap downs and maybe i would not even say okay even if i say 10% of the time it is gap up but this 90% i would say it can be 2% gap down it can be 3% gap down it can be 1.5% 2.5% but do you think usually the gap ups will be like very rare rarely we see like 0.3% gap up 0.4% gap up 0.5% gap up or ma at max 1% gap up and i and i've seen like two times in last one year i believe maybe i might be wrong there was only 2% of gap up so so probability is very less stay with me friends stay with me only for 10 minutes you'll get to know why i'm just giving you all this data points because this will help you in terms of answering all your questions yourself right 2% gap up is very rare right uh, you can just comment if you if you are not uh, okay with this so 90% gap downs and even within the 10% the 2% is very rare i would say within this 10% only 3 to 4% rest of the time 0.3% 0.4% 0.5% right so what i meant to say is like if that is a situation this strategy will all good okay so now let me show you this is your ratio spread i'll take the worst example let's say you have deployed the ratio spread today this is i'm showing it for live let's say you have deployed the ratio spread today i'll take it to this is showing profit i'll take it to uh, okay right let's say you have deployed the ratio spread today i'll take the worst example let's say the market see intentionally i'm keeping 1600 loss friends intentionally i'm keeping one see i can make this loss zero simple what i can do is uh, what i can do is like i can just uh, increase the lot to two so intentionally i'm keeping this loss 1600 because if i keep this loss 1600 we will have more safe check the blue line the blue line check the blue line the blue line is going steep from here 
if i do not give this 1000 loss the blue line will go straight from here itself so intentionally i'm just giving that 1600 loss because i know how to cover that loss i know how to cover that loss so let's see the market went 1% gap down okay let's see 1% gap down or market is standing here all right so your maximum loss would be only how much what was that loss uh, 1600 so moment the market goes 1% gap down so what you have to do is you have this sole position right you have to exit this leg see try to understand friend the market went gap down and it it went down so obviously the second leg will give you profit right because whenever the market is going down you sold a sell what is what is the purpose of selling uh, c because you say market will be below this strike yes market is below this strike you will be into profit so what you have to do is like you have to sell you have to book this 37600 Okay, thirty-seven thousand six hundred. Where is that? One second. Y you have to book book in the sense you have to buy back, and then you have to sell one more thirty-five thousand five hundred to make it back to what ratio spread? See, the moment you buy back, this has become a debit spread, and you have to buy back. Just go hundred points down. Just roll down hundred points. That's it. Let me show you. what will happen now see your loss has reduced from 1600 to 1258 i'm just i'm being like very conservative you can go two points you can go 200 points also let's see if you say that let's say 200 points see now your loss is only 776 where is your market now your market stands at here your market stands at here right so what is your this thing uh, what do we say your uh, break even break even is two point so for you to get into the loss your market has to make a move the market has to come here somewhere here because 2.8% and this additional 1% because we are manipulating the market right that's it. so 3.3.5% for you to get into this loss because your blue line is steep but you are some way uh, actually we wanted that to happen the market came down right we 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 have done a roll down so wherein we are able to mitigate the loss to how much now 776 okay let's say market again went down by another 1% from here the market went down by another 1% so what you have to do right see i'll i'll save this friend i'll save this then only you'll be able to understand this is this is this sensible i'll save this then only you'll be able to understand okay i'll save this so 37400 was my sole position i'll save this now when i save right so now you have five you get four four leg strategy so now what i'll do okay sorry i made this, yeah now market stands here so what i'll do i'll exit this 37400 and i'll go for 37300 check the beauty right 37 what was that i'll exit this 37400 because mark when market came down this will be in profit okay 37400 i'll exit 37000 so i'll buy and then i have to make it back to ratio spread i'll sell one that's it now check your loss your loss is only 156 so what did i say this is zero or zero loss right if you if you if you have some extra capital right so friends try to understand if you have some extra capital just increase the quantity of this sell to 2 that's it chi your call side now on the put side you will get with additional profit right your market try to understand your market stands here now for you to get into unlimited loss market has to make a movement of already 2.3% and plus 1 plus the market has to make a move of like 4% so then you will come into your maximum loss or else market has to break this level but don't you think you will be able to trap the market into this green area this is what we wanted we are at i would not even say zero loss see basically you are getting some profit here basically you are getting some profit here 2916 and do you think that would cover your brokerage charges and the stt charges and also you will get some 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 sort of money right for your travel expenses you can have a small party with your friends like biryani party and everything but right you got my point this is the worst case i have taken and if you have additional capital increase it to 3 who is stopping you because you have a safety of 4% and you wanted market to slowly come up and then you should be able to trap the market in this area you should be slowly able to trap the market slowly into this area right it has to come up let it come up see it, market was standing here right it let it come up let it come up and then if you are able to cover the market somewhere you will get almost 4% profit where we are targeting for 1% per week you are getting 4% per week and also if the mark if the view went wrong 
if your view went wrong if the market keeps going down you'll be able to capture that 1% profit easily from your put side by just doing some smart adjustments i've not even i've shown you only very normal adjustments what we have done we have just rolled down the put we made we converted this to 1 is to 2 now see check the 1 is to 2 ratio spread what we have done we have just rolled down the sell position slowly 100 100 points and we were able to create the profit here this is one okay let me i'll do one thing uh okay let me do one thing i'll delete this thing so what were the original legs i'll i'll clear this trade i'm not sure what was that leg 265 125 and 100 right okay give me a second friend i'll 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 exit all these things okay delete i'll get it get it back to original trade if i am able to okay give me a second mm. okay i'll do one thing i'll go for new trade okay i'll go for strategy builder option chain i'll go for strategy builder why this is coming okay bank nifty okay i'll show you like how to how to do the ratio spread i'm just going back to 28 so this is what i've done right maybe i might have sold i might have bought this and half of this would be what was that uh did i buy this okay 256 and half of that would be 125 yeah, we sold this and we have sold one more this thing i believe right yeah this was my original ratio spread i'll just save it to virtual trade so that it will be easy for me to show you right what is this i'll say h h h stay with me friends stay with me <coughs> confirm load in the builder yeah this is my ratio. we have seen the worst to worst case right if the market goes against our view we were able to get with profit at least we were able to get with 1% or 2% profit with still a potential of 4% profit in case of the market going against our view now let's say the market comes the market is uh, coming uh, making a uh, what would you say it's it's going as per our view right what is the threat of the ratio spread friends this is the trade what have what have traded on the july on the last week so let me show you that yeah <coughs> or else you guys do one thing one second let me go back to video so this trade okay this one july ratio spread this was the trade if you go to this trade i started with a ratio spread if you go back to my sorry give me a second i'll go to the playlist and then i have that video or not intraday my signature strategy July yeah July twenty fifth. Hope I have that video. I think the first video I'll play. July twenty. Give me a second, friends. Give me a second. Stay with me. You'll enjoy this video for sure. Okay. Where is that? What I've done. Two point. okay i lost somewhere okay yeah anyways I'll, i'll take you back to the sensible i lost okay so the threat of ratio spread the threat of ratio spread is like quick momentum momentum like this right momentum like this will be threat because your safety is till this point right what is that point your safety is almost you are safe till almost like 2.45 percent but if bank nifty gives a wild moment of 3 percent gap up 4 percent gap up that's the reason i've started the before i discussed about the zero loss strategy I've, i've given you the data point saying that very rare you will see the gap ups even if the gap ups are there that will be like 1% your ratio spread is capable enough of observing sustaining the 1% 1.5% the only threat for your ratio spread is a quick moment of 3% gap up that is that is not bound to happen easily because have you ever seen a upper circuit i'm not sure Uh, maybe i'm not sure because i've started the trading i'm not sure but i've seen the uh, not the lower circuit but 2% 3% gap down because of the uk and war and because of covid and everything but i have never seen like upper circuit of 3% 4% 5% especially in the index it might happen with the stocks but we are discussing only of the index so my ratio spread is safe for 1 or 2% right so what adjustment what you have to do is friend what i just see whenever the market keeps let's say the market see i'm just manipulating last 5 minutes friend we will be done 
so i'm just manipulate the market right i'll just i'll take the market to this position so now now the market is between my break even and my first sole position so what is my first sole position 37300 this is my 37000 okay let me zoom 37300 and what is my break even break even is 36960 see right 36960 so when the market stands between this my buy position and sell position and it depends actually so that's the reason uh, see it depends so when when i say the market stands between my break even and my first sole position is it the next day or is is it on the second day or third day or fourth day see that's the reason i'm on i mean uh, it's it's difficult for me to uh, tell you all the adjustments because adjustments are very dynamic you you got my point right so when the market stands here if i say do this adjustments now people will straight away do this adjustments on monday they will do the same adjustments on tuesday on wednesday and thursday guys that's that's the differentiator actually so adjustments are very dynamic so you have to be like very smart so you do you, you should not be doing unnecessary adjustments and all the adjustments are very uh, dynamic okay now what i'll do is okay let's say the market stands here so what i have to do is like my, what is my loss here my loss is 1600 and my profit i have the potential of 8394 if someone is targeting 6% per week <laughs> you guys can quit my video because i am not a gambler though it says 6% but still i am planning to get only 1 or 2% if market is kind to me the way it was last week i got 6% profit that don't focus this 6% you should be happy to get at least 2% is more than enough right but you have a such a good uh, what do we say range and this sell right i mean i will discuss again this sell if you want more safety if you want more so if you want more safety of 4% or 4.5% you have to select your sell positions accordingly right don't go for 67 rupees to go for 40 rupees and go for two strikes go for 30 rupees go for two strikes your 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 break even your range will increase like anything you'll get more range like 4 4 5% but this profit will decrease but why the hell we should give focus for the 6% i'm okay to take 2% by having more safety on the call side because that's the only threat with the ratio spread so why should i but for the demonstration purpose i'm showing you even 3.26% is a very good range on the upside okay let's say the market comes here you have to do only one shifting friends that's it you have to roll up your position because this 36900 will give you profit when the market stands here obviously right because this is a buy position maybe this will give you loss this will also give you loss but this will give you good profit so what you have to do is you have to exit this 36900 go here exit 36900 okay you have to sell and then you can come 200 points or 100 points otm based on where you stand if it is like on the thursday the next day you have to just go for 100 points that's it if it if it is on uh, monday you have to, you have to, you can go for 200 points. i'll show you like with 100 points right the moment you have done this see your loss initially your loss was how much 1600 your profit was 8394 by doing only one adjustment check your loss your loss you are able to mitigate 50% right though your profit also gets mitigated but i i am looking only at 2% per week still i have another 3% for me to sacrifice in terms of making this loss zero now we are done right let's say slowly the market goes up i'm just manipulating i mean uh, editing let's say the market goes here now what you have to do definitely see i'll add this i'm not sure whether i'll be able to i'll add this friend okay i'll save this so that we so what we did 36900 was 37000 was our sole position i'll add this now let's say the market went here so what you have to do is your loss is now 625 your profit is still intact with 5% right you have a good safety of 3% now what was the leg yeah 36900 you have to exit what leg did we what was it like actually so this is what i'm bad at numbers okay 36900 okay let me see initially that was 36900 i think so guys can can someone tell me what was it original like the 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 roll up what i've done okay 37000 okay okay let me yeah okay 37000 sorry friend yeah so what i'll do now i'll go back to my this thing i'll exit 37000 and then i'll 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 roll up my call to another 100 points that's it check the beauty now now 
with only two minor adjustments with two minor adjustments you are able to mitigate your loss on the put side to green point number 1 and check your profit your still your profit is intact 3.7% you still have but if i zoom out this thing right you have maximum profit potential from 37300 to 37600 you have the 300 points range to get maximum profit point number 1 and you have good range but if you have the concern if you have the concern of what say market stands here and market can tomorrow gap up by 3% now i've shown you the planned out to make the loss on the uh, sorry profit on the put side that was one of the concern now if you have concern of no market can go up it can gap up so what you have to do is like simple friend if you have that concern you have to see what did i say any adjustment what you do that will have some adverse effect i'll have a solution for you also so what is your second sole position 37600 right so you have to exit this 37600 that's it 37600 you have to exit so that's when i am buying back right that's it so now check your call side has become from unlimited it has become limited still we are okay see that will reduce your what do you say your capital if i one second what was that okay if i did not add this your capital was 1 lakh 31 lakhs right your profit was 5000 if you the moment you exit this second leg position what was that 37600 the moment you exit this check the payoff <coughs> your your capital got released you still have 3600 profit right which is 12% now on your capital deployed it's up to you now you have this 1400 loss again this is because you are able to mitigate your unlimited loss on the call side but again if people ask me boss again this has exposed my put side loss right you can do that what you have to do is like again you have to do the roll up meaning okay what was the legs 37100 i'll save this friend i'll save this and 37100 so let's say the market made another like 0.5% or 1% so now what i'll do i'll just exit this 37100 where is that sell and then i'll go for 37200 simple for see your loss has mitigated to 64 649 if you if you want to mitigate this loss permanently by sacrificing the profit you can just go one more 100 point c that's uh, yeah you, 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 you do not have this score because our sole position is 37300 so you can just go till 37200 so if you go to 37 3000 so this the payoff will not show and there comes your other adjustments but at least this is a zero loss i've shown you the worst worst case i've shown you the good case right and if you have the threat of market opening like 3% 4% right so no see everyone has to go through that phase the 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 biggest threat of option seller is huge gap ups and gap downs i have seen many gap downs i have seen many gap downs but gap ups are very rare my ratio spread will sustain the gap up of 1% 1.5% maybe 0.5% because majority of the gap ups will like 0.3% or else the market will open bluff flat right that is the only threat for the ratio spread but if that is happening with with within the market hours i'll show you what you have to do okay stay with the last two minutes friend last two minutes i'm done last two minutes i'm done uh, let me clear this trade okay so i have to again i have to make one more trade okay let me go to two minutes friends i'm done <coughs> my first live session i'm so happy to see uh, i thought maybe I, i i literally thought whether people will join or not but my first trade i'm so happy okay so i'll go back to this thing a uh, 28 quickly i'll deploy me right this was the buy position right usually what i do is like see friends i'll tell you usually what i do is like i go for 217 of profit my ratio spread is all about go for 220 but but this time i'm showing you right half of this thing will be 125 that's it 125 what is half of 125 close to 67 that's it this is my ratio spread let's say the market opens gap up tomorrow by 1% 2% simple right so now this is exposed now this side is exposed so what you have to do what is your break even 37935 simple friends go right what is that 37000 let's check 37900 what will happen if i buy 37900 simple see i am able to mitigate my loss definitely you will be in loss like 300 400 but now your concern has gone actually your call side has become zero now 
what will happen if i go for 38000 right what see this is this is perfect right right your loss is only 2300 from undefined see your loss is it was undefined market is standing here by just buying an extra additional safety of 38000 you are able to mitigate your loss to limit it and if you go if you go by 37900 you are able to mitigate your entire loss on the call side to zero and then you have to do your all other adjustments <laughs> all right friends okay so i think i think let me check whether the users are there whether you guys are there or not how to see multiple windows okay okay sorry friends i was i mean whenever i was doing the video uh i am not able to focus on the chat section okay so now i think i'm done with the video friends i mean i'm not sure whether you like the zero loss strategy yes that's that's not the end of it i will i can show you n number of adjustments wherein literally you can make it zero loss and believe me you will never make it zero uh, for for someone to see it in a very classical way or the real time watch my a uh, last week trade i've started with the ratio spread and then i got out with 6% profit with the quick momentum on the upside because the threat of ratio spread is quick momentum on the upside but still i got with 6% profit this is not the end actually we will have follow up session wherein i'll show you how to do all some unique smart adjustments so wherein we will be able to get with minimum 2% profit and at maximum 4% of profit per week if you are very good at the Uh, adjustments all right so now i'll just open up with the q and a session so now i'm just monitoring all the q and a sessions but let me know friends how was the zero loss strategy right how was it i mean does it make sense or not or i've shown you all the all the permutations and combination worst to worst case on a good case on a bad case and i've just shown you like 20% of the adjustments there are another 80% of the adjustments which i'll be showing you in the upcoming sessions but how i mean how was the this thing do you like that zero loss strategy or it was it was very bouncing or it was too complicated too easy <coughs> at least good good thanks rajesh thanks narin narin is too active thanks narin for keeping me active also that motivates me pay off graph went wrong interesting strategy good yeah we will we will come back to that uh, uma uma ready right because i'm just simulating uh, with the sensible right so there might be definitely some issues right issues with your premiums and everything okay wonderful session thank you jc ma sir at least if one participant is happy with the kind of effort what i put that is you you will be like make, making my day right very good arrange one webinar tomorrow i am okay i am okay to to have a webinar so let me put a poll maybe right away after this video right i'll just put a view for i if i have like 20 audience forget about 20 even if i have like 10 audience i'll be like happy okay it gives confidence to do this very informative thank you could not join in the beginning no worries sai i'll i'll just try to upload this session in the uh, youtube provided i'll be able to do that i'm not sure whether the moment i end the screen whether this you video will get saved or not but i'll i'll do okay so how was the presentation guys overall i mean seriously you all made my day i thought i mean i was literally thinking like how to start this session we start it, it almost went for 2 hours and thank you folks for staying for 2 hours with me that that literally that that gives me more confidence sir your strategy makes sense but we are expecting your simulation in obstra by considering real market yes yes evant kumar i've told you right i'm not a full time trader and you you understand because i'm making daily two to three videos after my office hours so once i get settled right so just uh, i'll do more of simulations i'll do more of uh, strategies and friends believe me do not focus on all the strategies you have to create your own signature strategy i'm just giving you multiple templates multiple blueprints i try to try to leverage that uh, by by matching it with your own trading style and and you come up with like one or and the other thing is like let's have a follow up session we'll discuss about how to select the strategies how to select the directional or indirectional based on the vix based on the view of the market price action and there are like n number of things to be discussed so i i mean the the, the take away from me would be i'll make if someone is following me i'll make them an independent trader for sure that's my goal 
and this was my first live session i'm not sure how i did please share the recording need to see the zero loss strategy again to understand definitely vijay i will definitely and believe me there is one more video already in my youtube if you search with like 90% of the probability you will find that video just to make this more interactive i have done this zero loss strategy but there is that video is there in in my video i have i have see i might have done n number of ratio splits and believe me 80% is a success rate and the classic example would be the last week example 